research, development, online classes. And today we're following up the stop motion animation. And it's the basic uh, level, so it can be from as young as age as... What age are you? Four. Four? Nine. Nine up to 90 years old. So my name's Wilma Smith and I'm a filmmaker and today we have... Vivian and Helena. Vivian and Helena and we've got the lovely Alice behind the camera. Hi Alice! Hello. So um, we've been doing some kind of different ideas for stop frame animation and today what we were going to look at was um, writing a story and doing a very very simple uh, storyboard. So what you can do is take a piece of paper, okay, like such, and what's an easy thing to do is just fold it over and then fold it over again. This is how quick it can be. And using a pen, I am now going to Draw a line down the fold. That's how simple it is. So we are basically creating a storyboard. Okay, so we'll leave that to one side the snow. But the other thing we want to think about is what we're going to put inside the... What, what our story's going to be for our animation. So you can get another piece of paper. And what we are going to do is we are going to think about who is your character. So I'm just going to write down who. So who is your character? Where the story takes place? What happens? Oh. Good if I spelt right. I went to actually spell what's that there. What happens now? You can have something um, either like they meet uh, another person. Uh, sometimes that's known as because your who is also known as like your protagonist or your goodie. And usually, what happens is you introduce an antagonist or a baddie but your baddie doesn't always have to be a super baddie you know so we'll just put in who do they meet okay so in our story I think we might have just a storyline where it's not somebody that's super baddie you know but just who's maybe a bit mischievous maybe we can do something like that and finally what happens in the end just enough space to get there oh and a wee question mark okay so we've got who is your character where does it happen what happens, who do they meet, and what happens in the end. Okay, so let's go to our storyboard. So, Helena, who is our story going to be? The little girl with the purple dress. Okay, let's plop her down here. So we've got this little character here. We're going to use toys that we've already got because that's a really good way on um on that's a really good way of kind of just creating a, a set from like Playmobil or Lego or something like that. So we've got this little girl here. We've we got a name for this little girl girls? Polly Pocket. Polly Pocket. So our character is called Polly Pocket. And where are we going to set Polly Pocket? In a house, okay, a house. and have we got a house here? Yeah. Bring it over, Helena. Excellent. So we have got a house, and if we open it up like this, you can see we've got a house. Okay, and we've got lots of other characters. Um okay. And we've got furniture. 
Okay, so we've got Polly Pocket. So she's in her house. And so what happens next to her is the clock. And what's, what's happening with the clock? She's late, okay, so she's going to be late, so I should be taking a wee note of that. And shall we make it that her house is really super messy and she needs to tidy up? Yeah. yeah. She needs to tidy up. So she's in her own house and it's Polly Pocket. And she's still Okay. So what happens? Does she go to bed? Does she tidy up? She finds the Shopkins. So if anybody knows what a Shopkin is, this this is a this is a little Shopkin. So we're going to be using Shopkins today. Um, so she finds um, Shopkins at the door, and then what happens at the end? Do they make a mess of all her tidying up? Yeah. 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 Or they what? They help her tidy up. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So they're not really that bad. That's good. They help her to clean. Okay, so let's have... So we've got Polly Pocket and we've got her inner house. I'm just drawing it really quickly, super quick, quick. We've got a clock, which makes her late. And we've got the doors here. Oh, sorry, you're going to do it. And... She's got her bed. Her house is super messy and she's going to tidy... She's going to tidy up. And when she wakes up in the morning, somebody, will we have somebody knocking at the door? Mm -hmm. yeah. Knocking at the door. And it's the cheeky little Shopkins. So can we have a wee think about how do your characters speak? What does Polly Pocket speak like in this film, in your film? Um, she speaks really high pitched. She speaks really high pitched. Do you want to give me a wee example of how she speaks? That sounds really good. And what about the Shopkins? What did they then sound like? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Very good. Hello. Great. So, shall we get animating? Great. Okay. Lights, camera, action. Hello.